Okay, here we are, about to uh, climb into these vats and see what we can find. So, what's over here? Ah, nice alcohol vat that we can poke and prod through. They're small, cute, furry, and dead. They're lemmings. The group in this vat seems to have commuted, uh, committed mass suicide by drowning themselves in alcohol. Such are the dangers of drinking and driving. They're pretty good games, though. Boy, the alcohol fumes sure are strong in here. Well, that seems like a warning to get out, but... I don't want to walk on the wild side and... Explore some more. Oh my, what the heck is that? It looks like the King Graham from the picture. Wielding your skimming net with authority, you probe around in the vat, completely ignoring the corpse of a king who keeps getting in the way of your search. Well, that's nice. The strong fumes are making you dizzy. Oh, we can handle it. So, let's choose this one. Oh, snakes. Strong fumes are making you dizzy. Maybe we should climb... Oh, crap! Oh, no! You're in a heck of a pickle now! Har har har. Oh, it's the, uh, the Hulk, uh, the She-Hulk. The She-Hulk? Yeah, you know, the Hulk, uh... Why am I here? Oh, right, because I saved it here. Um, yeah, I saved while I wasn't recording, because I'm sneaky. Anyway, um, I'm gonna listen to the store again. Now, Dr. Miklos, what was it you wanted? Well, I saw you admiring the swords on some of the armor displays, so I thought you might want to see this beautiful specimen of Mr. Heimlich's. Oh, thank you, I suppose. Hmm, it is quite beautiful. Was it forged in Toledo, Spain? Yes, it was. Well, Mr. Heimlich keeps it very sh sharp, as you can see. It's- STOP! What is it, woman? Mr. Heimlich has been having trouble with the mounting on that sword, Mr. Niger. If you were to touch it, it would more, more likely than fall off the wall and kill you. Oh, my. How can I ever thank you, Dr. Miklos? You seem to have saved my life. Hmm, let me see. Do you have any scars or tattoos, Mr. Niger? Well, yes, I, um, suppose I do. Just a foolish thing that I had done in my impulsive youth. Ah, please let me see it, Mr. Nezir. It would make me so very happy. Oh, Dr. Miklos, this is very embarrassing. I'd rather not. Are you forgetting that I just saved you from almost certain beheading, Mr. Nezir? <sighs> oh, no. Very well, I will show you. Just a minute, let me take off my shoes. Your shoes! How exciting! Here they are. Look quickly. What if someone were to come in? Ah, how beautiful! Egyptian sun symbols, yes? Yes. Please, may I put my, sh my shoes back on now? Oh, if you must. I have never seen tattoos on the bottom of the feet before, Mr. Nezir. Tell me, did it hurt very much? Did you bleed? Yes. Ah! Can I come in? Oh, dang it. Okay, well... Let's see... I think there might be one more conversation, but I'm not sure. Yep. Oh, Wolfie, I am so glad you agreed to meet me here. You know I can't resist you, my little stuffed grape. Stuffed grape. Oh, Wolf, you are so strong. Lift me up on the desk, yes? Uh. Um. Anything you say, my strudel. You know I'd do anything for you. Lie, steal, murder. Especially murder. Wolfy love, you give me the chills. Please, scare me some more. All right. If it would please you. More than anything. Who else will die tonight? The Countess? She is always walking around like she owns the place. Museum security must be maintained. That woman must die. The Countess? Why should she be killed? Didn't she go home after the party? 
Someone lets the Countess in and out of the building during the late hours. If I ever catch her, she will pay the consequences. Maybe I'll be lucky this time. Maybe I could discover her body. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps it could be arranged. That's one of the things I love about you, Wolfie. You have a wonderful sense of humor. Thank you. And so do you, my strudel. So do you. Ha 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 ha. That's great. Yeah, Can I walk in on this? The Countess is standing right next to, to the thinker. I know. So. This game is... Man, I have never had so many things mess up in a game than I have during this Let's Play, to be honest. She talks to the ferret in here, and then suddenly it walks up right here. And all these inconsistencies and rar. But, um... Sounds familiar to me. Yes. Well, let's see. I want to get this lantern here. So let's see if I could uh, smash it with a bone. <gasps> oh my god, he came out from there! <clears throat> Was ist los? What do you think you're doing? There is no emergency here. Nicht gefingerpoken mit der Lantern. Your finger poking, huh? That word doesn't exist. I don't know why they <laughs> what they did. Well, okay, that kind of shocked me actually, because um, I have broken. Oh, it magically repaired itself. How nice! I have broken this before, but Wolf always came out from under here, and I was thinking, oh, maybe the game will be stupid, and he'll come out from here, even though he just saw him here. But I guess he can come out from the office. That kind of scared me. But, but he anyway, come out from down there because Daisy. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, um, if you're playing this game and you break the glass and Wolf comes after you, don't worry. Just keep coming back and hit it again and again until you can get it. All right, now we have a lantern. It's awesome. In her purse. In my purse. We fit an entire lantern in our purse. And a dinosaur bone. Yes. Oh, you know what? We never looked at Dr. Pip and Carter's notebook. The notebook is made of good quality paper. There is an imprint on the paper from the previous message written on the pad, but it's too faint to read. Hmm, an imprint. Well, you know, usually when I see imprints, you can take, like, the edge of a pencil and rub it over um, the notebook lightly and you'll see an imprint, but we don't have a pencil. However, we do have charcoal. So, let's try doing that. Rubbing the charcoal over the notepad has made the imprint readable. Yvette, 8 o'clock, Egyptian room. Tut, 1015, Egyptian room. Carrington, 11 o'clock, his office. Well, let's see, um... We definitely weren't available 8 o'clock, so there's no way we could have seen the meetup. Um, and he died, so we wouldn't be able to see Dr. Carrington at 11 o'clock, but... You know, it just struck 10.15 right now, so... Okay, I tell you what, I'm gonna save here as note. And I'm gonna show you what would have happened if I had been quick enough to uh, go somewhere. Or, uh, no, maybe I shouldn't, because I think that might take a little bit of time, so... I'm gonna do that in the next video. All right. By the way, just uh, to let everybody know, that practice of rubbing the charcoal on the notepad to see the uh, the note on it is referenced in Freddy Farkas, Frontier Pharmacist. You can do the same thing because there's also a charcoal and infrared in that game, and if you try to do the same thing in that game, it says "nice try, Laura Bow" or something to that effect. Really, I didn't know that. Yeah, so just that's cool. Just a little piece of trivia. Now I want to play that game just to just to see that and geek out and be lame. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to turn off the video now, or stop recording. Goodbye.